So the GPT store has already been available to everybody for a week, even though people have already been getting the kinks out a while before then. Now that the store has been flooded with a ton of GPTs that are not necessarily the most useful or that you could actually do yourself, I scoured as many of them as possible so I can find the ones that could save you a ton of time by creating a toolkit of a few of these to help you along with your daily work and home life tasks. I'm gonna share them with you now. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben, and I created this YouTube channel to really help make AI more accessible for creatives and to help give creative people superpowers by arming them with the necessary tools to help them with a repetitive or even brainstorming tasks in order to let them focus on whatever it is that they are the most passionate about. Now, I've made these videos for all levels, really, but I really do focus on the newcomers who need a place to come when they don't know where to start. Okay, so let's dive in. Let me start off by saying that the only way you can make or use any of these GPTs is to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. Now, I'll tell you, I do believe it is worth every cent of it. It's only $20 a month and the amount that you get from it is remarkable. I've already made a few videos about this, but I really, really suggest you do it. Now, jumping in here to get to the GPT store, you just come over here to the left hand side and you click on explore GPTs. It's going to bring you right here and you can type in a search keyword for whatever it is you are looking for. Now this list is in no particular order. I want to start out right now with the Canva GPT and you see right here, it's even on their main page as the number one featured uh, GPT. You can effortlessly design anything, presentations, logos, social media posts, and more. Now this is a more enhanced version of the plugin that they've already created. Now once you're inside, you can literally say, I need a YouTube thumbnail. Now I am creating a video on the latest and greatest tool in AI. And literally it's going to just take you right through it here right now. Hello, excited to bring this vision to life. Start your creative journey with Canva. What will we design together today? Ah, that sounds great. This will help me create the perfect design. Make it exciting and fun. Need high contrast to uh, differentiate. Okay, and literally right now, it is making it for me. And it says, uh, it's all, it's asking me if I wanna allow it to actually go to Canva because I'm gonna actually have to use my Canva account to, to really use this because it's going to give me the best templates that I could find. I just wanted to show you a quick and easy, simple way to use this GPT. Great, here are two exciting and fun YouTube thumbnail options for your AI tool video. Both are designed with high contrast to stand out. Uh, great, the technology is new and improving. Please report these results if you don't like any, any of them. Um, maybe if I like this one, for instance, I would click on it right here and it would take me to the design. And I could say transforming your designs with AI. And literally it has everything set up that I can edit, I could put a different logo in, all of the above. It's pretty, pretty awesome, okay. I'm gonna go back to the Explore GPTs. Next up, I want to show you in video AI. Now, if you look right here, it says 25,000 plus uses. That means people are starting to make videos. A video GPT that creates stunning videos for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Shorts. Incredible, let's create a video, let's create YouTube Shorts video. Okay, let's create a YouTube Shorts video. I literally am just gonna go along with its prompts. Great, to get started in your video of shorts, could you please provide me with a brief description of the topic or thing you have in mind? Also, feel free to mention any specific style, tone, or key points. I like to make fun, humorous, and engaging shorts to share on AI. Can you make me one uh, talking about uh, Apple and the latest Vision Pro. And then it is thinking right now and it's starting an action. Again, I didn't even think about the video that I was gonna ask it until I was here, uh, but I wanna show you how quick 
and what you actually get back. It's pretty remarkable. Wants to talk to, um, so again, they ask you when it actually wants to complete these actions, if it's okay. Your YouTube Shorts video is ready. It's fun and engaging piece about Apple's latest product. Title, Apple's latest wonder, the, version, the Vision Pro fun take. You can watch the video here. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And I am going to, it says Apple's latest wonder, the Vision Pro. Okay, now I came, I clicked on that link and it brings me here. Now it's, it's bringing me to the account I just created. Uh, I have not paid for a subscription, so it is preparing my video. Okay, great. Now let's see what it made in literally seconds. Okay, it's ideating, planning the script, generating the script. I am going to skip through a lot of these just to get you to the final video. I think they can do a lot with this in the future. Uh, for now, that's pretty incredible. If anything, this can just get some creative juices flowing. It can give you an entire video in NB Roll within just having that text prompt. It's pretty unbelievable. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Now, Zapier is going to have a super robust GPT down the line, in my opinion. But now, I still think it's pretty remarkable what it's capable of. So if you look right here and you just type Zapier, um, 10K plus, you're gonna see the good ones have like a lot of people. How can uh, I help you with lead management? Can I automate emails with Zapier? Yeah, I wanna automate my emails with Zapier. I think what, what you need to really think about is what to ask it and then, and then how to then take that result and do with it what you want. That's the amazing thing about things like Zapier and make.com. They allow you to automate everything. You just have to have a little uh, of that thought process of what you're gonna do. Right here, it's telling me it could trigger an email, send an email automatically when a certain event happens, schedule emails, automate sending emails, email parsing. You can see literally the sky's the limit with what Zapier can already automate. It's linked to so many hundreds, if not thousands of applications it can pair together and automate. So it's pretty outstanding. The key will be knowing what to ask for and then to move on. Moving on, Video Summarizer is pretty cool. I found really cool. You can literally summarize any video on YouTube. And after it summarizes the video, you can even ask it questions. So let's give it a try. So I go literally, I come up back up here and I go Video Summarizer. And you're gonna see again, this one has 10,000 plus views. I'm gonna go to my YouTube page. And I'm just going to uh, maybe go the best AI tools. And I'm going to take this link right here to my best AI tools. And I am going to come back to chat GPT. And then I'm gonna press this link, summarize for me, please. So right now what it's doing is it's asking me again, allowing me to access the YouTube page educational summary of YouTube video by Video Summarizer, emphasized as a top tool for organization and productivity. The presenter, Ben Silverman, highlights notions transformative impact. And it's literally summarizing everything. I don't, <laughs> I don't have to watch me tell you any of this anymore. That makes me a little sad, but um, in the end of the day, if you're really just trying to get a lot of information and do the research, it really is a good way. ChatGPT, Canva, Midjourney, it really, it, <laughs> really just did everything just like that. Okay, let's move on. Now, I did a, an entire video on the next one, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it and have to include it. It's gonna be right here, and it is called Consistent Character. It's pretty rad. I just recently used it to redo all of my thumbnails, and I used my little character that I made and put them in all my thumbnails. I created it and asked it to create different expressions and make it do different things, uh, and, and ultimately, it, it was pretty cool. So I suggest you try that one out too. Just go to Explore GPT, search for consistent character. Next one is Scholar GPT. It's also pretty rad. When it comes to analyzing text, 
figures or any straight up doing any research, I found it pretty remarkable. And, and just being able to parse through all of these research papers and whatnot to figure out the actual information that you need, I, I found that, that really, really interesting. Now, another one that is also pretty cool is sous chef. You can actually use sous chef to tell you, look, here's a picture of my fridge. <clears throat> what should I make? I wanna impress my partner with a date night. Any uh, advice? Uh, the sous chef, ah, date night. <laughs> it's trying to be clever. But uh, it's pretty cool because I could even upload a picture, right, of my refrigerator and it could tell me what I could make with the ingredients in my fridge. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So uh, I think you should check that out. It, it really helps you make unique meals that is based on the ingredients in your kitchen. So the next one I have right here is called Finance Wizard. Finance wizard again 10k plus uses i predict future stock market prices ai analyst your trading analysis assistant ask me about stocks options crypto futures forex press h to bring up prompt hotkey menus not financial advice it's not giving you financial advice even though it's kind of doing that by analyzing the stocks or you give some stocks and it'll give you advice, but it's probably just looking at the research from the markets that a lot of these other softwares did that will probably uh, be using AI tools to do it in the future. But now you could use it doing this. Now, if you invest or just need to analyze the market in different ways, it does uh, it does help you by giving, uh, giving this information. Now, Playlist AI is my next one. So if you go right here and go to Playlist, AI, you can actually uh, link your uh, Spotify, your Apple Music, and then it can actually make playlists from that. You could say, what's your current favorite song? I'll create a playlist. Uh, if I say, what's your current favorite song? Okay, okay. Um, I don't have any purple presents, but I'm happy to make a playlist around the song you love. Okay, I like, let's see. Um, make a playlist around the song Happy by Pharrell. And great choice. Happy by Pharrell Williams is a vibrant and uplifting track. I'll create a playlist with similar joyful uh, K. Bruno Mars, 24K Magic, Justin Timberlake, Can't Stop the Feeling, Katrina and the Waves, Walking. So literally, it'll just create this. And then if you hook up your music, it'll just start playing. That's pretty cool. You can modify it. You could talk to it. You could ask questions. You can do whatever you want, really. Uh, I think this could be fun. Last on the list is Convert anything. Now, I always find myself finding new ways uh, and new websites to use. 10k views. Again, people are using it. The ultimate file converter for images, audio, video, documents, and more. It handles individual or batch uploads, supports zips, and provides a download link. You just upload it and say what, what file you need back and it does it for you. That's a lot easier than going to all these random websites. It gives you back the one you need, and it's pretty impressive. My one question is where do these files go when done? Who has access to them? Are they deleted? That's my only concern with uploading files because I don't know anybody. I don't know who, who owns this by Pietro uh, Sherano. I don't know who he is or what he's doing with my files. Uh, but that is my one question. All in all, the GPT store is pretty impressive, but I think it's only the beginning of what this will be. And potentially for these types of GPTs outside of OpenAI. Now remember, Facebook and Meta came after MySpace. There is so much happening in this space right now. We are years away from seeing what sticks. But please keep checking in because I'm just going to keep updating you on what's coming out. Now, now see, this is the video that came from my Apple Vision Pro. I have no idea what it's going to give me. Let's see. Cue the drum roll, folks. Drumming up the latest marvel from the Apple universe, the Vision Pro. This isn't just a gadget. It's a lifestyle revolution. Think of it as your personal assistant, your fitness coach, and your entertainment hub, all rolled into one sleek package. The Vision Pro boasts an ultra-fast processor. And when I say ultra fast, I mean it could probably outrun a cheetah. It's got a display Humor. so clear, you'll feel like you're in a sci-fi movie. And let's not forget the battery life. It's long enough to make the energy well, first of all, this blood. voice was made On the fitness side, it's like, like having now. your own personal trainer. Minus the sweat and the, the script shouting. was made now. It tracks your heart rate. The videos your steps, are all sleep. stock images. It might even predict your future if you ask nicely. In entertainment, you bet. Stream your favorite tunes, podcasts, or sports commentary with crystal clear audio. 
So, if you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who appreciates good design and innovation, the Vision Pro is your ticket to the future. So buckle up and enjoy. So this is kind of crazy because, like, look, while I know that that's not the most perfect video, like, how long it takes somebody who doesn't know how to how to make these videos to make something like this? It, it's a long time. This took me two minutes. Now somebody could then just rearrange. They could, I, but first of all, the voice is just they just created that. It's a synthesized voice. Anyway, now you can see where we're going. That you can create these videos just from absolutely nothing in a text prompt, and then you get this video back. It's one minute long. It's pretty remarkable. Anyway, on to the next one.